Hi there, following on from my uh, clutch cable making video for the BSA Bantam, I received a comment from uh, Chris Stevens who'd made a tool to open up the end of the cable uh, before you actually go and solder it. And uh, he did a, a video on this a, a while back, I think. So I'll, in my video description, I'll put a link to his video where he sort of uh, talks about this tool. And I've also found out that then he'll make one. Uh, they call it a uh, bird caging tool um, for a mere £160. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I thought I'd have a go at making one. So the tool itself is pretty straightforward. Just a couple of pieces of metal. This is aluminium. Um, for a, a longer life tool, you're probably better off uh, using uh, some harder material. But anyway, um, what you do is um, you cut a couple of pieces to uh, to size, to length, and uh, put it in the mill, and put, put a couple of pieces of uh, printer paper between the join here, and clamp it up. And then uh, what I've done here uh, for a two millimeter cable, I've drilled three two millimeter diameter holes, and um, sort of countersunk the top here onto a depth of four millimeters on each one that diameter there is four millimeters that's five millimeters and that's six millimeters I probably would never want to use that to be honest probably won't have a nipple big enough to take that uh, but the idea is once once you've done this machining well, I also put some pins through here to sort of like make it sort of quite reasonably accurate before bolting it together um, the idea is, once you've removed this paper, you get a really good, nice compressed fit on the cable to stop it from moving. Um, so what you do is you undo it, uh, put a cable in, clamp it up again, and then use a little punch, which I've made a couple of. These just fit inside the holes, just a piece of mild steel. And uh, there's another one somewhere, that one, 4mm in diameter. So the, the idea is you put the cable in, get it sort of fairly level with the top, maybe just a touch lower, um, so you can sort of like get the tool engaged first, then just tap it with a hammer and it opens it up, splays it open. So uh, I'll have a go with this small one first of all and see, uh, see what the result's like. So the cable is just a touch lower in the hole and the top surface that allows me to get started in the hole with this little punch. It's like there's nothing special to this, it's just a matter of getting a good fit in this hole. See what the result is. I'm pretty happy with that. Not a bad result at all. I'll uh, try the uh, slightly bigger one. Well, again, that's a pretty good result. Probably a bit wide in reality. But it seems to get a reasonable uniform sort of spread. And comparing the two, I think the smaller one uh, is, is better. a bit difficult to see. Well I must say that was a very easy tool to make and uh, many thanks to Chris Stevens for uh, pointing me in the right direction. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you found the uh, video of interest and uh, I hope to see you later.